Well, appreciate everybody here being here today and uh, for your coverage of women's basketball. Um, it's a great win for us on the road, I can tell you. It's a really tough place to play, tough always because of lots of reasons, mainly because they got a heck of a team. Coach is doing a great job with them. Those three guards, I've been worried for three days about them. Uh, obviously know a lot about Jayla and have so much admiration and respect for her and her family. Um, but I've had to deal with Madison Smith for a while now. And of course, Janiah just, she's young, just a sophomore, but man, what a difference maker she is. An impact player, gonna be a great player for years to come. So, and then I told our kids, you know, those those two inside players that are just physical and they're tough. So I've, I've been, we didn't practice real well yesterday. We had, obviously we had travel issues and um, I guess that's not uncommon this time of year coming up here. And uh, so we we didn't roll in last night till late, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and um, actually ate on the bus from Pittsburgh. So I'm still wondering how your men got in here at 320, but I couldn't land at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock. It's just a question. Uh, it's called the home court advantage, I think. But anyway, uh, we made it in. and. I, I, you know, this is. I told our kids when, after Saturday night, we're going to find out something about our team this week. Going on the road, got to play two great teams, well coached teams, and again tonight, I just, I'm really proud of them. I just, I, I thought we did some really good things. Obviously, defensively, we, we were pretty good except for the, the fourth, the third quarter, we gave up 17, but uh, or 23, sorry, in the third. But um, other than that, I was really proud of how tough we played and. Uh, Sonya got hot. I was emptying the playbook for her, trying to get her as many looks as I could. And I thought Rory was really, really good the second half. Not real good the first half, but really bounced back, led our team, made some great decisions, made some tough shots for us, and, um, and led her team. So it's a great win for us. Again, a lot of respect for West Virginia, uh, Coach P and her team and her staff. They're doing a heck of a job. Coach, how much of a difference did the offensive rebounding second chance points make for you guys tonight? Well, I'll have to look. It says 17 to 5. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously that's a big number. I, t I tell you this, we were 3 for 9 at halftime from the free throw line. We missed two layups down there at the 5 that were just bunnies, gimmies. And um, we. Uh, there was something else that I pointed out. I mean, we really felt like at half it could have been we sh we should have been up more, but the second chance points. I tell you, the one that was big was there late in the fourth quarter when uh, uh, Hattie Fay got one that, that uh, was really really big. And um, so, you know, they had cut it to three, and and she got an offensive rebound and a stick back, and that was a big play for us. So, uh, obviously, 17 to five is a big number. Um, I'm going to say 30 paint points is. You know, we, we, we try to get to 40 if we can. So we were we were lacking a little bit there. But again, you have to give them credit. They, I thought they did a nice job defensively on us. We missed some easy ones, but we didn't. You know, we we, we made some tough ones too. Offensive rebounding has that been a strength? I mean, would you consider yourself a, a, your team a good offensive rebounding? I, I, I have until lately. Like I, I don't. Uh, you know, we had 14 tonight. We've been doing a real good job. But like my leading offensive rebounder is my guard. Right. You know, Shaley. She, but that's because she's trying and she's putting herself in a position, much like Jayla does. Jayla's an honorary, she's honorary down there now. She gets down there and she's physical, she's tough, and she makes it a point to put herself in the fray, you know, put herself in a position to get, well, Shaylee's the same way. I, I need more, I've been getting a lot more from Hattie and, and Deanna. They only had four tonight combined, and we were getting quite a few, but I also think people are paying attention to them. If you were to see some film of them going to the boards and how people are literally taking two hands and checking them, it's it's hard for them to get there sometimes. Coach, you said a good road trip is a sign of mental and physical toughness. Is yeah. that what you saw from your team tonight? I would say is that what you saw from your team tonight? Did you get that? I did. I, I really saw a team that, you know, when they cut it to three, I saw us answer the bell. And to me that's a that's a really good sign for this group. We've We've, we've had our issues with lack of toughness at times, and toughness isn't just about physical. You know, it's mental, it's, it's being able to block out, make a tough free throw, make a tough shot, get a good stop. I mean, there's so many things that go into toughness, and we've been lacking. And, uh, and so that first half, for instance, we got a couple of rebounds and they end up grabbing them from us, or is a jump ball. That's toughness. And you gotta get that rebound, snatch it, and 
chin it and get it out. And so I did. I, I, it's a great point. I, I saw a team that showed some toughness tonight. I'm, I'm pretty happy about it, too, as you can tell. Rory, like Coach said, you kind of bounced back in the second half. What was going well for you in the second half as opposed to the first? Um, I would just say some my shots were finally falling, and I got to the right spots early on. They just they really weren't falling, and um, just some early turnovers um, that is a little frustrating for me for my position. It's, it's <laughs> you have the ball in your hands so much, but you try not to hurt your team by turning the ball over, and I did, and that wasn't like me to do that. Um, so that's just a lack of focus in my area, and I I guess I started to get to the free throw line. And I started making bunnies and made some tough shots, like Coach said, um, towards the end of the fourth and the second half. So. You know, for Rory or Sonia, either one of you guys, uh, Coach mentioned the West Virginia guards. Um, you know, what was what did it take tonight to uh, hold those, um, you know, players in check? <coughs> Mm -hmm. um, I think just focus on defense, um, trusting ourselves to be able to guard the ball and trusting our teammates to have our back if they did get past us. But the game plan is always, especially tonight, make them score over us, not by us. And I think we did a pretty good job. They got around us sometimes. They got to the basket sometimes. But we guarded the ball pretty well, and I think we had each other's back pretty well, especially the post players, like having some crucial blocks. And even, even if they didn't get blocks, causing them to call, like if you're driving in and they causing travels or just – they thinking about shooting, they can't shoot it because they got a big old five player sitting right there. So I think we had each other's back tonight and we did good. We was focused on the defensive end. And I would say like, we, I, I believe we forced them to rush their shots towards the end of the shot clock. And that's always great. Um, having teams shoot towards the end of the shot clock. One, it takes time off the actual time and then when you're rushing and forcing a shot like that, it's most likely, or it, it could go in, but most likely won't. Coach, what did you think of your offensive execution tonight? It seemed like particularly in the second half, you guys went to a lot of sets and, and that you scored from them quite a bit. Well, um, we were really struggling there for a while. It's hard to believe we scored 38 points in the second half because the second quarter, we were, man, we were dying on the vine. Um, and uh, I do think we executed some good stuff. I thought we, like Rory said, we got hurt at her spots. Sonia got hot there for a little bit, and then I thought our inside people finally came alive a little bit. And, uh, you know, uh, Taylor was six out of eight, and most of hers were, you know, bunnies and, and only had one offensive rebound. So um, we found her, she found her a couple times on some quick up, what we call quick up. So, um, you know, our execution was okay. I'm not going to be real giddy about it. I thought we made some poor decisions. and. Our patience just is still a work in progress offensively. So we've got to really focus on flipping the floor more. We, we really get stagnant and we don't turn the floor like I like to. So we're getting better at it. I mean, we're a work in progress. We have so many new players and, and um, they're just trying to figure it out. But to come on the road again, I'm, I'm really proud of them. It's really a hard place to play, hard team to play against. And again, a lot of respect for West Virginia. Anything else for discussion? Praise the Lord for the horns. Thank you all.